Dr. Pearson mentioned, we, we are going to have some dancing this afternoon, which uh, to me I think is a wonderful thing because so many places we go and so many uh, venues that we play, people don't realize that every note of music that you hear played up here is dance music. This music was invented during a time when people, you know, worked hard, and we still work hard, and we still play hard, and so we have house parties to rejuvenate and to to uh, refresh ourselves, and and the dancing is part of it. You know, that nowadays it's music presented where people are sitting on their hands and they just sit politely, but in the in the inception of this music, it was music. It was a soundtrack to a party, and people would be on their feet, you know, move, moving, shaking their butts, dancing. And uh, nowadays we don't we don't see that too much, and we don't even know very well what the dances were like. And we but we have a young man with us this afternoon, whose mother I, I, I've known for many years, uh, Al Jermaine Hinton, as Barry, Barry Pearson said, she would play the guitar and sing and dance all at the same time, <laughs> and sometimes with the guitar behind her head, and she, she would be dancing and singing. And her, but her son, Will Ed, is carrying on the tradition, and we have him with us this afternoon. I'd like to get him to come up and join us. This is a song that I put together called 1954. It was a rough place over in Chapel Hill. When you go there, I went there twice. And there were two times too many. <laughs> but when you go there, I don't know what you was thinking. I don't know what you thought we were. He win it or what? So he started throwing blocks, bricks, balls, anything to get a hand on. I went there with a friend when I first went there, so. And I left there by myself. Left him back. So the thing entitled to call Chapel Hill Boo.